Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to another Dr. Cassette video presentation. Today I want to present yet another camcorder. This is the Bauer model VCC 626 video camera recorder. It's a VHSC movie using the HQ VHS system. And this is a very special camcorder. Now, fact is that uh, by now, most of the camcorders of that time period are no longer working. They are suffering from bad surface mount capacitors. They dry out or they get leaky and uh, no matter what, they are going to kill the camcorder sooner or later. And this thing still works. It's fully functional. Unbelievable, isn't it? Well, it's not that unbelievable if you look inside. This camcorder is probably one of the very, very few models that doesn't use surface mount capacitors. It uses old school full size electrolytics. A consequence of that is that uh, this thing is absolutely crammed full and the circuit boards really seem to contain nothing else but electrolytic capacitors. So it definitely made sense that they uh, started using surface mount capacitors, miniature capacitors. But uh, anyway, let's take a look at the features and functions of this camcorder. Let's start off on the side of the camcorder. As you can see on the front, we have the lens, lens cover, have a focus ring and manual zoom ring with a green button. If you push that in, you can access the macro mode. Most of the camera controls are on the side. We have a fader, date and time insert. We have a focus, either auto or manual. And this thing in manual mode is the push auto. In auto mode, it's the zone select, which selects the field in which the camcorder tries to focus on. There is the white balance. We can have it either in auto, outdoor or indoor. High speed shutter and something that not many of these camcorders had, a manual iris control. So you can see it has a HR picture sensor, features hi-fi stereo sound, HQ, VHSC of course. Here is the cassette compartment. Turn this around. Here is the viewfinder, which flips up. And uh, it can be detached from the camcorder. And you can then um, connect a title generator to the camcorder. There is the date and time setting. And right here we have uh, some controls that uh, the more basic models did not have. We have the edit, either off or on. If you want to dub uh, footage from this camcorder to another VCR, you got to turn this to on. And uh, in other cases, you turn that off. Audio select, either hi-fi, mix or normal. The mix doesn't seem to work quite right. And the normal, of course, is very, very low quality. Index. And, uh, well, each time you start the camcorder recording, it records a signal, an index signal. I'm, I'm not sure how that feature works. And then we have a timer slash interval record. This is the back of the camcorder, and we have the power switch up there, which uh, they marked operate. So you can see it has also a power LED. We have a jack button. Then for the record mode, we have uh, SP or LP, we have uh, reset for the counter and uh, display slash memory, uh, which also controls the counter. You can either have a non-linear counter, you can have a stopwatch, and you can have uh, memory. And then we have the camera search, which is another feature that was not all too common on uh, the more basic models. So you can go forward and uh, in, in reverse 
while you're in record mode to and you can also review the footage that you've shot. Now this is the selector switch for uh, record and play mode. Push that up and you get all the other uh, playback controls as you can see as well as audio dub and insert editing. Now there of course is the DC input jack. Then we have this side where we have most of the other connections. We have the adapter jack which give your, gives your video output and it also connects to the RF modulator. This is the tracking control. We have a remote jack and we have uh, the earphone jack right there. There's the record button and uh, have a rocker switch for the zoom and uh, Right here we have uh, the accessory shoe, so of course on top, and this is the sensor for the white balance. And right there we have uh, the hi-fi stereo microphone, and uh, as you can see it has a microphone input right there with a separate DC output for microphones that need extra power. The HSC movie. The battery comes out, it's kind of a weird setup. You push down right there, this unlocks, and then you can slide out the battery and take it out. Now this camcorder made an appearance in the video unboxing four camcorders. I got this off of eBay, it was a package deal. I got four broken camcorders without any accessories. Uh, now this was the only one that I could revive. It did re require some repairs. Somebody had uh, messed up the eject mechanism, so the camcorder always thought that the, the cassette door was open, so it wouldn't engage any other functions. Now, by bending some tiny little metal pieces in that mechanism, I managed to uh, uh, repair that. The door now locks again properly and uh, so the camcorder is able to work again. Another thing that I had to repair was the selector switch for uh, play or record. Uh, it has a, had a little broken lock thingy so it wouldn't wouldn't stay in place anymore. Now you you will never believe how I managed to repair that. I used a piece of toilet paper. <laughs> Another thing that needed repairs was this microphone. Uh, the rubber piece around here had come out of the housing right there and the microphone was just sticking up like that, which uh, looked rather ridiculous. Now, unfortunately I messed it up. I couldn't get the housing to uh, come back together properly and uh, actually had to screw a screw into a place where it doesn't belong down there in the in the bottom to uh, keep this housing from uh, coming apart all the time. And that's kind of unfortunate. Now you have seen a video that I made on this camcorder before. That was the video entitled A Cheap CMI Table Fan. Well that's pretty much about it. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you again soon. We have all the camcorder controls right here on the side, or at least most of them. We have the fade button, we have date and time. Now this can only do date and time, it cannot do either date or time. Or actually, well it can do that. Now other than that, um, now I, I, for some reason I also had to disassemble the well, that stupid telephone is ringing. Would somebody please answer that stupid telephone?